Hello. When we're straightening horizons, we often use something like the crop tool and rotate, or maybe the perspective tool. But uh, at other times, the warp tool can be useful as well. So let's see how we use this. First of all, let's check here and click on the move tool, drag in a guide from the left to show that we've got the lighthouse is vertical and all the people are vertical. And when we drag in a guide from the top, down here we can see that the horizon isn't quite horizontal. This is because the shape of the coast, but maybe we'd like to straighten it up a bit. What I'm going to do is leave it in the middle here, so we need a little tweak this side and a little tweak that side, um, rather than put it to one end and then tweak from one end only. So let's have a look at how the mesh works. So I click on the mesh tool down here. It's the same one that's got the perspective tool in. So if you need that, just right click it and click the one you want. This puts a rectangle, a white rectangle around the picture with the white squares in the corners. The squares are nodes. We can have lots of these. And then there are lines between the nodes. I think they're sometimes called arcs, but I'll just call them lines. So what you can see here is I would like to pull this up to here. So if I grab this, you can see how the the thing works. So I could, for example, just grab this and pull it up to here. But then if I did that, then this is not on the line anymore. So we need to know a little bit more about how to use this. Um, we also need to know that when we use a, a, a mesh warp, you can grab any little white square node and pull it round and it pulls the lines up to the nearest nodes to it. We can also grab the left or right or any line uh, between those nodes. And you can see, if we look up here in the sky, can I see there is just on that, there's a little mark by the cursor. So what we're going to do here is if you double click on, a, on on any point in the picture, you create a node. So if I just go to the end of where I want to drag from, let's double click on this. And this has put a line across here, anchored there, which means I can grab this and it will pull this relative to that node on the right. So the node on the right is not working, it's not moving, and the node on the left, I can move all over the place. What I want to do now is to stop that whole picture moving. I want to sort of stop it at one point. So let's stop it about here. So I double clicked on that and this produced another node. So now when I drag this around the place, see this only moves this bit. And I put it there because it's just underneath where the blue guide touches the coast. So if I drag this up, this straightens out that bit. However, there can be a little problem in this sort of thing because when I'm doing this, I'm stretching those people underneath. What if I don't want to do that? So let's go back to your minute. There we go. I can put in another node here. Double click. There we go. And what this is going to do, because when I move a node, it only moves the lines attached to it, now the people are OK. So I can now just go up to the blue line there, and I've stretched the coast just nicely. I can also grab these little round circles, and those will give a little extra tweak. Just turning it up. Let's just move that up a bit. There we go. Now I'd like to do this side. Starting new and it's a good idea. Click on apply at the top left hand corner here to accept the changes and start a new web uh, mesh warp. So we can do the same thing here. We can actually say, well, we're going to put a node over there and we'll put one a little bit down so that we're only going to distort a bit there. And we want to pull this one down to the line so it's going to come down to there's the blue line just appearing make sure there's no gaps on the edge of the, there 
because if you pull too far this way you end up with empty space there so we don't want that so we need to make sure that's covered and we go down to that line and press apply and there we go we've now got a nice straight coast on the end this is particularly useful when you've got all kinds of other shapes and you want to straighten out something which is in itself not straight it takes a little bit of time but it's an extra tool in your toolbox so thanks for watching